If you want to be a very good farmer, always learn plan. In farming, like I always say, in farming, every day is a class. Because every day you need to learn one or two things in farming. Today, I am going to talk about a groundnut disease called rosette groundnut virus. This is a virus that attacks your plant. So in today's program, we are going to look at how to identify the virus, how to identify an infected plant, how to prevent and how to treat. Hi, I'm the mad farmer from Shpangali district, deep down in the village of Eastern Province. Welcome to my program. Like I said, today we are going to look at the groundnut rosette virus. It's an ongoing thing in a farmer. If you want to be a good farmer, always learn to learn. Always learn new things. Is an exciting package. Like this, after the great bigger, you can get them, then put them here so that none of them die. After doing that, you can do your fertilizer applications after around your farm. Filled with all that you need to know. Why? Because we always think that onion can only be grown through irrigation system. How to, to do, do it? Is look at how to prepare the beds until you take them for, for, for storage machines and then uh, and when. when? That's good thing. It's just actually recovering now. Because if you look at this, it's good thing. It's just recovering now. It's time to take it back to the land. Make a difference farmer, mad farmer, MAD, make a difference farmer. It's nothing to do with crazy, nothing to do with insane. Thank you so much for your support. The, the Mad Farmer. farmer. The, the Mad, mad farmer. farmer. Be a farmer. Be a millionaire. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, groundnut has a common disease called uh, ros rosette groundnut virus or groundnut rosette virus. This is the virus that attacks your plants. Which plants are we talking about? Your groundnuts. What usually happens is there are some insects or aphids that will fly in your field, land on your plants and then inject trying to suck the juice from your plants. While it is sucking the juice from your plants, it's actually injecting the diseases in your plant. What will be the results? Your plants, your groundnuts will start turning yellow, bushy with green patches. Those are the signs to show that your groundnut, your, 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 your crop has been attacked. How does it happen? Most of the time, these diseases, this rosette groundnut virus usually comes with these amphids, which usually carry them from wherever they are coming from. How do you prevent that? The best to do is you do the intercropping. You plant together with pigeon peas, the maize, sunflower, you can name it. That will help your, 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 your groundnuts not to get infected. Or better still, your, 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 your field should have the required plant population. The density should match because you shouldn't leave bare patches where the amphid would be very easy for an, for an amphid to locate your plant. So now, how do we get rid of these things? The first thing you need to do is always, when you have a good farmer, who always take time to go through their fields. Don't just actually check from afar. Always take time to go through. If you can manage line by line, the better. Once you do that, you will be able to, to tell or to identify if there's a problem with your plants. When you identify, what do you do? You actually pull them up, you, you uproot them and then throw them down somewhere very, very, very far. Once you do that, you are sorted. Because when you leave them like that, what will happen is those insects or the amphids will come and land there trying to, 
to to inject there and then in turn they will get the disease from there they'll come and inject the plants are not infected at the end of the day you will have your bushy uh, groundnuts which are not going to give you a good yield and then what do you do like i said you need to intercrop have the required density not like this because this is especially density uh, the, the plant population is not good hence it's very very diff it's very easy for you to have the amphis as you can see already they look infected so now in case your plant is infected what do you do there are two ways of doing it it's either you can use the organic way or the chemical way the organic way you can just get neem neem leaves you get them you crush them put them in water and then you spray your thing and then you are sorted because when you use neem there are some other insects which are useful to your plant and to the soil you won't kill them and then if you want to use the chemical way you can use any poison to kill the amphis and then they'll die but remember whenever you uproot an infected plant just like onion throw it very far away so that you make sure that the amphis don't sit there so now let's play a recap one when planting plant the required plant population make sure the density is right make sure you don't leave open spaces so that it will be very easy for, 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 for an insect to locate your plant always intercrop you can either put pigeon peas maize safra or anything which you think you can manage two the organic way you can use neem or you can use poison and then most importantly visit your field regularly because it's your farm remember you don't stop planning if you want to be a good farmer you don't stop planning groundnuts has money if you've got any question concerning what i've talked about feel free to get in touch with me my numbers are always the same, 0977 or 0966 9870510510 These numbers are on WhatsApp or on Facebook, The Mad Farmer Kapata, The Mad Farmer Kapata, on YouTube, Mad Farmer Kapata, Mad Farmer Kapata. Please like my page or subscribe to my channel that each time we upload a video it will be able to give you a notification and then you will be able to know remember farming is a business thank you so much for watching my program bye bye